everyone, welcome back to Cat Raquel Books. I'm Catherine, and today is Thursday, but this video will be my top five Wednesday because I filmed it yesterday, I promise. I did. I filmed it yesterday, I edited my video, and I uploaded it to YouTube, except it didn't upload because my video files got corrupted. So. Yeah, I don't even know how that happened, it just did. It's happened once before, and yeah, it just really sucks. I hope y'all enjoy this, and let's just get to it. This week's Top 5 Wednesday topic is Top 5 Unread Authors. Coming in at number 5, I have Rick Riordan, the author of the Percy Jackson and the Olympians series. Um, the first book is The Lightning Thief. Please ignore this beat up cover. It's, there's not even really a cover anymore. It's half a cover because this is my brother's copy and he doesn't like reading. I have not read this series and I have not read um, Heroes of Olympus either, so I need to read these. Coming in at number 4, I have Alexandra Bracken, the author of The Darkest Minds and Never Fade, um, as well as a third book which I think is currently untitled. So people have been raving over this book, um, well they did at, towards the end of last year I believe, um, or in the middle of last year, and so I really need to read this book and see what all the hype is about. Coming in at number three, we have Stephanie Perkins, the author of Anna and the French Kiss, Lola and the Boy Next Door, and Isla and the, and Isla and the Happily Ever After, which comes out this year, sometime this year. I'm not sure. I think it's towards, around the summertime. But, um, yes, I have not read this book. You need to read this book. You have to read this book. I will. I promise. I will. Eventually. I don't know when. I actually, I was kind of thinking maybe I would start this this weekend. Um because it is Valentine's Day. Coming in at number two, I have Patrick Ness, author of the Chaos Walking Trilogy. I'm not exactly sure what this trilogy is about, but I kind of like going into books not knowing much about them. I think it's exciting, more exciting that way. And coming in at number one, I have Neil Gaiman, and he is the author. He recently came out with The Ocean at the End of the Lane. I believe he came out with this sometime last year, uh, towards the end of the year. And I've been really wanting to read this because um, some people have been saying that this book is so good. Everyone has, you know, take, get something different from it. Um, it really, you know, kind of changes your life in a way. So I really want to read that book and um, just take it all in. Yeah. That's pretty much it. That was my top five Wednesday. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry it's late. Um, have a great day or night whenever you're watching this. And also don't forget to check out the other top five Wednesdayers in the description below. Definitely go check them out and subscribe to them while you are there. And that's pretty much it. Bye!